Hi KGPS, welcome back to our remote art lessons. Uh, this task that we're doing today is a little bit more involved. It has a lot of different materials and things that are needed, such as egg cartons, string, some seeds or some fruits and vegetables. And we'll also need some soil as we are going to make a um, egg carton garden. It is getting to springtime. It might not feel like it because it's still pretty chilly. We've had a few nice days and I think it would be really nice to get out, start planting some fruits and veggies so that when um, spring and summer start rolling around, we've got some nice things to eat. So just make sure that you have some help for this task today and that you're allowed to use um, all the different things that we will need. I'll show you what those are just now. Alrighty, so the main thing we'll be needing today is our empty egg carton. So um, you can always ask mum or dad, maybe you can put all the eggs into a bowl in the fridge so that you can have the egg carton free. We'll also need some string and some scissors, some seeds or veggies. I'll show you how we can get the seeds out of the fruits and veggies uh, in just a moment. We'll need some soil. There's an example of what our egg carton is kind of going to look like soon. Um, and then we need some things to design our egg carton. Now I've gotten out some markers, pencils, um, permanent marker, some old paints that I have around the house, conveniently green and white. If you don't have any paint, you don't have to paint. Paper is always a good one. Our um, egg carton garden is going to be staying inside so it won't get wet in the rain. So um, yeah, just use whatever you have that's handy at home. Now the very first thing we need to do is sort out what we are going to be planting. We don't want to be planting anything that grows during winter because it needs the colder months and we're heading into our warmer months. So if you've got some seeds of different things, that's absolutely fantastic. This is broad beans and spinach which grows during winter so I'm going to put them to the side. What I'm going to actually do is get some seeds out of my capsicum and my tomato in order to plant those. So what I'm going to do I'm going to chop open my capsicum. You'll see this side has the seeds. You can do this when you're in the kitchen helping mum. So I can use all of that in my cooking that I'm going to do tonight for dinner. Pop that off to the side. And then here we have our seeds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully, let's use my fingers, grab some of those seeds. You don't need all of them um, because each seed will theoretically grow into a plant. And if you plant too many, then our area gets a bit overcrowded. So there you see, I have my seeds. What I need to do is put them into a little dish, pop them on the windowsill so that they can dry out. We can't plant them as they are now, they have to dry out. Another one you might like to have a go at getting the seeds out of is a tomato. Nice and easy one. So I cut open my tomato. So just the point where you can get those seeds out there. So you can see my seeds are inside the tomato there. Now they're in a membrane, which is sort of like a gooey, gooey outer layer. You can see. So what I need to do with my gooey seeds, I can see them in there, is pop them into a sieve. Just grab it. A few. Don't need too many. What I need to do is I need to run water over them and um, scrub them against the sieve so that that gooeyness comes off and I'm left with my seeds. So you can see them there. As I'm starting to move that around, it's already starting to break up. We want to get rid of that gooeyness. And then, same thing, we pop them into a dish, pop them in the sun ready to dry. And then these are some ones that I've already dried that are ready to plant. So these are going to go into my garden today. Alrighty, so the first thing we need to do is get our egg carton all nice and organised to the shape that we want it to be. So I've cut off my front flab flap tab there. Um, you could cut off the lid if you didn't want it, but I'm actually going to keep my lid. I didn't like the design on the label. So um, I started peeling that off and then realised it's actually really tricky to get off. So I might end up putting my own label on the top. But at the moment it's looking pretty good. It just, I want this lid to sort of sit up like this and it keeps falling down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach some string from the top here 
to the bottom here on each side. So now we need to paint our egg carton. Don't worry about painting inside the egg partitions because that's where the dirt's going to go um, and we don't want to contaminate that. But I'm gonna put a sign inside here that says Miss Grace's Garden. You might like to paint the outside. Um, you might like to paint these little um, bits here. Don't know what they're called. Um, but don't cut them off because we're going to use them. Now I've got a sign for my garden. I'm going to paint the other side of the lid. So I managed to get that label off as much as I could. Um, if you can't get it off, don't worry too much about it. You can always put paper over the top of it and paint over the paper or use markers. Alrighty, I have finished painting my lid. I've got my label, Miss Grace's Garden, and I've got my strings to hold my lid up. Now we need to put some soil in our little egg partitions. So what I've done is I've gone out to my garden where I have some proper soil, um, and I've just dug a little bit up. You don't need too much, but you do need it to be um, nice soil, not just dirt. This one that I have done about two weeks ago, I did use um, quite a lot of just dirt and a little bit of soil because I didn't have that much nice nutritious soil and nothing has actually grown in about two weeks. So this was capsicum. Um, I'm still kind of expecting it to maybe start growing but we'll just have to see. I've kept it nice and moist um, and on the windowsill so that might still grow. Um, just make sure that it is nice dark rich soil not sandy dirt. Um, and you can always add in some compost. I actually have some old coffee that I've gotten out of pots. So I'm gonna mix that into my soil. And the coffee will add some nutrition and also repel some bugs. So what I need to do now is mix all that up. Some nice soil, you can get some soil at Bunnings or um, at the shops, but if not, just see what you do have at home. Um, and I need to put that into my little partitions. Now all that's left to do is to plant my capsicum and my tomato or flowers or whatever it is you have that you would like to grow. So I'm just going to make a little hole with my finger. It doesn't need to be too deep because the roots will grow down and our stalk hopefully will grow up. So I hope everyone has had fun creating their um, little egg carton garden and you've had tons of fun um, planting some capsicum and some tomato. If your cardboard starts to get a bit manky, that's okay. It's going to get a little bit soft and yucky looking. But once your veggie starts growing, if it does start growing, you can just cut that egg um, partition out and put it straight into the ground so that it will grow. You don't need to pull them out of these. The um, cardboard will just decompose. And if you want to have a go at growing other vegetables from your groceries, you can always have a go at celery. Um, just a heads up, celery does like to grow during winter, but you just cut off the top, put it in some water, and it will start to grow 
some roots and it'll start shooting out the top. This is just about ready to go into the ground. I'm not sure if it will grow. Um, it might be getting a bit warm for celery. Or an avocado seed. So you suspend an avocado seed in some water and it will eventually crack and start growing out a root. You can plant an avocado tree. Or a good one to try is always rosemary. So you chop off some rosemary. Um, you just sort of scrape the stems a little bit with your nail, put them in some water and that will start to grow some roots, just like we have been doing in the art room on the shelf. So once it starts growing some roots, you can pop that into the ground and you'll have a rosemary plant.